once upon a time, a war was about to happen. The battle lines were drawn, the soldiers were in place, ready to fight. But a higher power made them stop. Something unexpected and delicious. A warm milk soup. Our story starts here, in the Swiss countryside in Kapel am Albis, where our special peacekeeper dish was created almost five centuries ago. Legend has it, um, actually, let's get Georg on the phone. He's a historian from the University of Basel, and he knows this milk soup so well, he's even written articles about it. Die Milchsuppe ist eine Legende, das bezieht sich auf eine Kriegskonfliktsituation 1529, in der zwei Parteien, die Katholiken und die Reformierten, kriegerisch einander gegenüberstanden. Die Geschichte erzählt, dass die Anführer der beiden Kriegsparteien verhandelt haben und dass in der Zwischenzeit das Fußvolk, die Soldaten der beiden Parteien einander gegenüberstanden und es dann zu einer Fraternisierung gekommen ist. After a while, the soldiers got tired and hungry, so they put what food they had together. The Catholics brought the milk and the Protestants the bread. And together they made the legendary milk soup. This halted the battle and a truce was formed. The soup became so iconic, it has a memorial in the battlefield. And nearly 500 years later, the soup is still playing peacemaker. Wunderbar. And this is Robert, whose restaurant has been serving the stuff for many years. Man kann diese Suppe auch nehmen, wenn man irgendwelche Differenzen hatte und am Schluss dann wieder friedlich und dann kann man das Ganze als Friedenssuppe benennen. He makes the soup the modern way, with milk and bread of course, but also with butter, onions, leek, cream, vegetable stock and some salt and pepper. Es schmeckt sehr cremig und leicht Käse. Ganz leicht wie Käse fondue, aber äh, leichter. Ich hab's gerne. <laughs> so next time you're upset about something with your neighbour, do as the Swiss do. You bring the bread, have them bring the milk and have a bowl of soup together.